Hello everyone, we are Jim and Dottie Hibbler, parishioners of Sacred Heart Parish in Troy, Missouri. Today we'll do a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the feast of St. Joseph, the earthly father to Jesus, the savior of the world. Pope Francis has also declared this the year of St. Joseph. I would like to share some personal reflections by Pope Francis on this extraordinary figure. He shared that he thought of St. Joseph during these months of pandemic, when we experienced amid the crisis, how our lives are woven together and sustained by ordinary people, people often overlooked, people who do not appear in newspaper and magazine headlines are on the latest television show yet in these very days are surely shaping the decisive events of our history. Doctors, nurses, storekeepers, and supermarket workers, cleaning personnel, caregivers, transport workers, men and women working to provide essential services and public safety, volunteers, priests, men and women religious, and so very many others. They understood that no one is saved alone. How many people daily exercise patience and offer hope, taking care to spread not panic, but shared responsibility? How many fathers, mothers, grandparents, and teachers are showing our children in small everyday ways how to accept and deal with a crisis by adjusting their routines, looking ahead and encouraging the practice of prayer. How many are praying, making sacrifices, and interceding for the good of all? Each of us can discover in Joseph, the man who goes unnoticed, a daily discreet and hidden presence, an intercessor, a support and a guide in times of trouble. Saint Joseph reminds us that those who appear hidden are in the shadows can play an incomparable role in the history of salvation. A word of recognition and of gratitude is due to them all. I would only like to add that St. Joseph can be a mentor for all of us, especially dads. St. Joseph had two attributes we all need to have, obedience and trust. Do we have an obedience and trust in God? I was recently reminded of the saying, let go, let God. Trust him, trust him, and it'll all be all right. Today, reflect on the many Josephs in your life. How can you be more like Joseph? Let us pray. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Amen. God bless. God bless.